Hey guys, it's Rodimus Primal. I'm back with another video, and today I will be reviewing the Transformers War for Cybertron Trilogy's Netflix Bumblebee. And I'm excited to open this one up because we've been waiting for a good chug scale G1 styled Bumblebee that transforms into a Volkswagen Beetle for a very long time. And I have to say, this is definitely the Bumblebee figure to get, especially if you're a fan of the original G1 character. He is, of course, an extensive retool of Earthrise Cliffjumper, and that's not a bad thing. And the other thing is, he's an officially licensed Volkswagen that transforms into a Beetle, and that's a really good thing, because for so long the character wasn't allowed to be one until the Bumblebee movie about two years ago. But now we finally have a G1 styled Bumblebee once again, and of course the artwork on the side here is very nice as it represents the Transformers coming to Earth in the Netflix series. But I'm not going to waste any more of your time, so let's get them out of the packaging. Uh, so sit back, relax, make sure you're subscribed to the channel, and let's transform and roll out. Consider supporting the channel on Patreon, becoming a channel member, or purchasing some merch on my Teespring store today. Okay, so here is Bumblebee out of the packaging, and you can see how much detail work is pretty much left over from Cliff Jumper. Um, the fact that they, you know, retooled him into a Volkswagen Beetle, gave him a brand new head, but the parts itself on the inside are very much the same. He has a Volkswagen Beetle there on the back of him. And uh, it's obviously it's a new head, new feet, but the arms and the legs are the same, so the internal workings are the same as well. But still, he just looks awesome. Getting a closer look at him, you can see how much articulation he has. It's very much the same as Cliff Jumper was in his feet and in his legs, and he obviously has a uh, waist uh, swivel as well as ankle articulation, and. The back of the car itself, of course, is a parts farming part. That is the back of the Volkswagen Beetle to kind of give him a cleaner look on the back if you don't want it on his back there. But he can uh, put it on the side here to make a blast shield if he needed to. And uh, that is kind of neat. So he does have a little bit of a function, but you can see it is a completely new piece in comparison to what it was before. Also, there's no Autobot symbol on his chest, which does kind of stink because, you know, the Autobot symbol there is on his foot, but it, it, it's something that's kind of missing, and maybe it might be something I might do later on in this video. Also, he comes with the same blaster that Cliff Jumper came with, and you can see there, you know, he can have the big, large cannon uh, so that he could blast onto Decepticons. And I'm going to bring in here some blast effect and so he can literally uh bloosh if he wanted to i know that's kind of copying emgo there but uh that is something neat that you know these these newer uh, figures have as far as a function now we can also take the blaster apart and make individual blasters for him if you wanted to so it's not like he is coming unarmed but what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to put it on the back of him here to give him that jetpack if you're familiar with the episode dinobot island is where uh, bumblebee was able to uh fly alongside power glide because he had a rocket pack and so this could actually act that way i'm going to get this wing on here like so and then what I'm going to do, you know, you can see here, you can have him fly as you need to. You know, but now you kind of need something to do with this, with this peg thing here. So I'm going to figure out here, I'm going to try and make it a bludgeon, bludgeoning weapon. <laughs> so if you want to, you can have Bumblebee use it to whack Decepticons or hack and slash. Um, <laughs> gives them something to do with it since you can't do anything else uh, otherwise. Um, but I'm gonna put it onto this hand here. Now I'm gonna come in here with this blaster. This was actually 3D printed, um, but of course you can get the accessory pack, but you can see the detail work on this. This was actually 3D printed by uh, Larkin's Lair. Um, he had sent me a blaster, which was really cool. And I'm gonna give it to Bumblebee like so. And so now he has his standard blaster along with a little hack and slash weapon. And 
or you know he could have it as a uh, bludgeoning but i'm gonna put the back of the i'm gonna put the backpack back on his back so this is how you can give him a pretty decent <clears throat> look now for some comparisons i'm going to bring in g1 bumblebee actually this is the keychain version so it uses the standard head and then i will bring in the reissue that uses the more cartoon accurate head uh so you can kind of get a c of what the original bumblebee toys look like next to this new netflix one now bringing in titan's return bumblebee and this was the one that we were using for for a little while until we finally got this newer one for the longest time, this was the Bumblebee that we were all forced to use, of course, was Classics Bumblebee. And there he is with a uh, his his sled can actually become wings for him to become his jetpack. And I also put an Autobot symbol on the back of him. And just for a further comparison, here is Classics Cliff Jumper, which was a straight repaint of Classics Bumblebee and uh, which is why he's just red and I was disappointed because it was a, wasn't a different head and here is my customized uh, Earthrise lift jumper and you can kind of see them all together and why I'm happy about the new ones and for some other comparisons here he is next to Legends Wheelie which is a repaint of the Titans Return figure we're going to bring in Earthrise Wheeljack and my customized Earthrise Optimus Prime. And uh, you, can see, you can get a nice flavor of the size comparisons between them and they all look pretty cool. Now, as for the transformation, we are going to get him all set up. The first thing we're going to do, of course, is de-arm him by taking off his blaster and his bludgeon weapon and going to take off backpack, jet jetpack, then we're going to start right here at the top the one thing i do want to point out is the clip for the chest is different than earthrise cliff jumper so it kind of like keeps him in there and it makes it kind of difficult to pull out but just making that note first we're going to open feet and that chest up you can kind of see the Volkswagen symbol there um, on that panel we're turn waist around and oh Again, there is the Volkswagen symbol. And it's pretty much very much the same transformation if you're familiar with Earthrise Cliff Jumper. So once all of these panels like fit together, which is kind of it's a little bit tighter than, than Cliff Jumper was, you know, at least as far as transforming it is concerned. So I'm kind of kind of squeeze it all together here. Make sure it's all set. And this is the, bu the bug without this piece, which is the back of the Beetle. And you'll notice he's missing a license plate. I wanna see a Toy Hacks label come out to get a license plate on there. But we are going to stick this on here. The two pegs stick into his fists, which unfortunately are sticking. So I'm gonna turn the fists around that the thumbs are facing in and that makes it a little bit easier you still have to press in harder and i think as I, over time it'll become easier to just, just gonna push this in so there we go just like that and you end up with a full swagon beetle um, of course, just getting the panels to line up as I'm pushing all the pieces together. There you go. You have an awesome and fully complete Volkswagen Beetle. Getting a closer look at the Beetle, you can see how much detail work is in there to make this look very much like the Beetles of old. The hubcaps are nicely painted. It's brand new tires. 
of course, he's got the Autobot symbol there on his chest, which I do want to put one on the roof, uh, which will be his chest. You know, later on, he does roll very nicely, very easily, um, like any car should. And he is just awesome looking. And now for some comparisons. Here we have G1 Bumblebee in Beetle Mode. And of course, we're going to do the reissue as well, which has the different bumper. And we're going to bring in Titan's Return Bumblebee. And you can kind of see the comparison there, why I'm very happy that we have a Volkswagen Beetle Bumblebee once again. Now to bring in Classics Bumblebee, which turned into like a mini coupe. And then there was the other piece that attached to the back of him. And now coming in with the extra piece that attaches to the back of the hitch of the Classics toy was this uh, jet ski that the Mini Coupe would travel with. Of course, the Volkswagen Beetle doesn't have that. So what you can do instead is turn the, just like Cliff Jumper, turn this into a hydrofoil rocket pack for Bumblebee to kind of uh, hover vehicle mode, which we're going to attach these pieces here. And I'm going to need to put this on itself. Stick on there. Come on. There we go. Other piece on there. Yeah. Then we're going to take. The, right. Come on. Stick on there. There we go. And then you, of course, have him roll around. I'm going to open up this bludgeon weapon, and I'm going to attach this underneath. And by doing so, you can now have a hovering Volkswagen Beetle versus a coupe with a jet ski. And I kind of like the this notion of you know, the Volkswagen Beetle having an extra mode. Okay, and now bring in another comparison. We're going to bring in Earthrise Cliff Jumper in vehicle mode. So you can kind of see there with the Autobot symbol what it would look like on the roof, which I think I'm going to do the same thing for this Bumblebee. There is Legends Wheelie in vehicle mode. Here is Wheeljack. We're gonna bring in Earthrise Optimus Prime in truck mode. And this way you can kind of see Bumblebee rolling out with his commander as you would expect him to. And I'm going to have Bumblebee fit inside the trailer very much like Knight Rider and close that up and of course we can have him peel back out which is really cool and really quickly one thing that I didn't show you before what well, is the fact you can take the cannon and make it like this weird blaster mode which looks really weird if you attach it here and I'm not really a big fan of this, like, weird thing. Now, as mentioned before, here is Bumblebee. I put an Autobot symbol on his chest uh, using a clear back, and he looks a lot better with the Autobot symbol. It is pretty much like the one detail along with the license plate and the blaster, which I got from, um, you know, Larkin's Lair, but you can get, like, different uh, people are selling you know, can't, you know, guns for Bumblebee to carry if you don't like the one that comes with him stock. He is a phenomenal figure. I will say he is definitely worth adding to your collection. And I think that this is the best G1 style Bumblebee that we have gotten in a long time. That is not masterpiece price. So, um, of course, I want to know what you guys think. Of course, leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Be sure to thumbs up this video and subscribe. Check out my other videos as well. I have more retrospectives, discussions, toy reviews, and news coming down the pipeline for Transformers on this channel. So stay tuned for all that. And as always, guys, until next time, till all are one.